Hello, hello, hi everyone and welcome to Moments with Adana. So today we're talking about something serious. <laughs> institutional racism. Is Britain institutionally racist? Okay, my first point I want to make. Not every white person is racist, please. Not every white person is racist. There are some beautiful, amazing pe white people uh, and and there's no there's not a single bone of racism in them. However, I do feel like there yes, there are some you do get racist people. Yes, you do. Um so first of all, this is, these are my thoughts, these are my views, and these are some of the experiences that I've seen and just things I'm gonna say. And also there was some research that was done recently about the whole um Britain being institutionally racist and um, since the death of George Floyd and all this Black Lives movement. So I'm going to first of all talk about the research that was done. I think it was like 200, over, almost 300 pages of research. I read about 100, 50 pages of it, not up to 100. I read quite a lot of it. I read like the main parts. So this is the findings that they say, first of all. <clears throat> they did a study in terms of like, um study in, in terms of education and grades so guys um chinese asians and black africans tend to do extremely well in their studies and research shows that they actually out outperform the white british children in studies and grades this is this is, this is what the research showed so Chinese, Asians, and Black Africans, they do extremely well academically, and they usually outperform the white, white children. However, in terms of status and jobs, the white children seem to always get better jobs, and they seem to be better, you know, better position in their jobs and career than the Chinese, Asians, and Black. The research also showed that Black Caribbeans tend to do not to do so, as good as perhaps so Black Caribbeans don't do as well in academically in comparison to Black Africans. I don't know. This is what the research shows. If you guys, can, I wish I can. Put, I'm going to transfer. I can put the the the, um, the website where to if, where the research was published. So they're saying that Black Caribbean children don't do that well academically in comparison to Black Africans, um, Chinese, and Asians. Yeah. I don't know why that is, but I feel like I know a little bit. I feel like in terms of education, if you're from the African background, anyone that's watching me that's African background will know that education in African home is the be and all. Education, education, education is the be and all. We know that African parents, they want their, their children to either be doctors, engineers, lawyers, all those, and they push education as life and death. You understand? I'm not going to lie. Yes, I'm black. Yes, I'm Nigerian. And I do feel like education is important. My reason for that, though, is because I just feel like I have black boys and i just feel like they have to they have to be the best in terms of education because i just feel they already have the odds against them do you understand that they're, they're black number one and they're gonna be black men do you understand and already research has shown that black men are the ones that tend to be um um be like another statistic i don't want my children to be a st statistic Black men are the ones that tend to have more to, to have to be more diagnosed with a mental health condition. Black men are the ones that tend to be more likely to be prosecuted or some sort of criminal go through the criminal justice um, system. So I do feel like that's my reason. I just feel like I have to give my boys the best. I don't want them to be a statistic. So I do feel like for them to be the best, of course they need love, they need all that, but they, they, I want them to know that with education they can do so much more. Do you understand? So yeah so that's so so, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm coming off track there so yeah so that's what the research shows guys what, what what i picked up in terms of why i think that britain might be institutionally racist is because number one if black Af 
Africans, Asians and Chinese are usually outperforming the white children. Why are the white children are the ones that are still getting the better jobs? Why are they still, you know, better get ahead in terms of career? Guys, what do you think? You know, um, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give some examples of why there is some sort of um, institutional racist racism. Um, I work in and I've worked I've worked in the hospital for many years as a, as a clinician. Um, and I never forget. Um, I'm not gonna say where, where I worked. I'm, I'm never forget. I'm um, working on the wards and um, a black patient, a black you know black a black patient came onto the ward. Obviously, he was diagnosed with a mental health condition, first episode of psychosis. Um, he was very unwell. And he was prescribed a lot of medication. When I say he's prescribed medication, of course, he needs medication for his mental health. Obviously, he needs that. But I feel like the medication that he was prescribed was, was too much. I remember coming on the night shift and I had to, I had to speak to them and say to them, please this guy's medication he's, he's the sedative medication is too much i'm scared that he might end up just i don't know going into some sort of just just dying because at night when I, I i don't give him the medication that's prescribed at night because i feel like he's already so sedated so i think at the end they had to cancel the they had to just they scrapped they canceled the um the night medication the, the psycho sedative medication based something obviously when patients come into the hospital they're quite manic they're they're, they're quite um you know um, a bit intimidating aggressive you have to give them some medication to calm them down <clears throat> i noticed that they were quite quick to obviously push them a lot of medication on the, the black male patients rather than they are to push the medication at this on the white male patients. We had another white patient come onto the unit and he was presenting exactly the same way that this black patient was presenting. He wasn't given as much as um, sedative medication as a black patient. He wasn't given the medication that tends to make you put on weight. And you know, just causes. He was given a a a, a a a less, you know, a less sedative medication. He was just given a very small, less sedative medication than the black patient. There are things that I picked up on. I just feel like there is some sort of like it's not. We're not treated black black patients are not treated the same as white patients. That's what I feel. Not all not, not all the time, but this, this happens sometimes, especially when you have the consultants where they're, 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 they're usually white, they're usually middle class, do you understand? And we don't come across a lot of black patients or black male patients, you know? So I feel like they, they, I have seen certain things that, you know, the, the treatment is slightly different. Um, what else? I'm just thinking of things that I've experienced because I'm a female. I don't know if I experienced it as much as if I was, if I was, being a, if I was a, a male. You know, um, my husband has said some things to me as well, what he's experienced, but I'm not going to go into all of that because I don't want to, I don't want to, this video is not to sort of say, oh, Britain is institutionally racist. I want people to sort of give their views, give their experience. What do they feel? You know, is Britain institutionally racist? Read the research that's been done recently about Britain being institutionally racist. Read it and tell me what your thoughts are. There's so much that we can talk about in terms of like you know britain being institutionally racist um especially with the police force and all of that but i'm going to talk about it in, in another video because i think there's so much i need to touch on so much guys my, um, if, you, if you're new to my channel please subscribe please comment like and yeah thank you for the support moments with adana take care bye Thank you.